Hello. Port meters. What do they do? What do I use? Um, let me get into this for you uh, and see if it is something that you want to use in your garden, in your deep water culture hydroponics or your hydroponics in general. Um, so in my opinion, it is just like the final piece of the puzzle to really be able to control all the parameters in your nutrient solution, right? Once we can dial in uh, a, a sanitized level, uh, when you can dial it into, you know, 420 to 450 millivolts, which I'll get into what all this means. Uh, now you can use uh, beneficials and it's not going to um, uh, impact them. So you're getting the best of all worlds. You're getting the ability to use beneficials and you're creating a sanitized environment. So uh, that's fantastic. But anyway, so something like this, uh, this is my pH meter. Uh, it has the capability to read ORP, uh, to read millivolts. So it, 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 they say that is, it is a, you know, an ORP meter as well, but I, I disagree. It, it sits the, in there and it takes forever um, for that value to move. Um, so I, 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 have, I don't have a lot of experience with the cheaper ORP meters, but uh, I have a colleague uh, that has a facility that was the the guy that turned me on to orp meters and uh, he said that's what it is is the cheaper orp meters they 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 take too long uh, it has to sit in the nutrient solution for 15 minutes um, and it's just uh, that's not something that i'm interested in doing i went with this milwaukee uh, this is the mw500 pro orp meter uh, and I love it. It works so well. I toss it in uh, the nutrient solution or whatever solution and I mix it up and it gives me a reading in millivolts uh, and it's quite, uh, it seems to, to read it quite quickly. So uh, here's the thing about, uh, let, let's just look at ORT meters, where they're used and uh, what they're measuring. I'm not going to go into the scientific details of why it's measured in millivolts um, and, and what that means. Um, you know, let's just uh, move on from that. I'll just explain what it actually means from gardening. But millivolt ORP meters are used uh, for, in uh, other places, in other industries. So ORP meters are used for people who check water quality. This might be water quality in a pool. This may be water quality for uh, drinking water from municipal drinking water, right? Um, they use ORP meters to measure sanit to make sure that they have sanitized solution, not over sanitized and, and not below a certain level. But the millivolts is essentially the reading uh, that's telling us, is it sanitized or is it not sanitized? So we're kind of looking at uh, over 400 is sanitized. Um, drinking water, for example, is anywhere from, you know, I think it's anywhere from 500 up to 700 millivolts. That's what's like coming out of your tap. And of course, we don't want our drinking water to arrive contaminated. It has to stay sanitized. Um, so this is one of the, the, the spots where we use an ORP meter and um, you know, uh, dial in a sanitized uh, uh, solution for consumption for us. Um, but, and that's exactly how we use it in the nutrient solution, right? We want it to be sanitized, but we don't want it to be over sanitized and stressing the plant and the root mass uh, and, you know, not giving us the ability to use other um, products if we want. So. Uh, so that's the orbit meter I use. Um, in general, again, this is the how it was explained to me, and I like this explanation, is that it's kind of like adding soldiers to your nutrient solution. So if there is a big battle happening, if you do have a contamination or something that is requiring sanitization specifically, um, then when you add... 
X amount of milliliters and you get your, your, your millivolts up to 500, you know, on Monday. And then on Tuesday, it's down to 300. You, that's showing us that you have something in there that is, is um, uh, being worked on by the, what I'm using is uh, UC roots, hypochlorous acid. Uh, these soldiers are getting used up. Um, so it's an indicator that there is um, something that is jeopardizing the nutrient solution. So it's going to use it up faster. If everything is dialed in, it is just, uh, uh, it will just dissipate naturally. Um, just like tap water, if you take tap water uh, that has a sanitizer in it, uh, usually chlorine or something, uh, and you just put it on your counter, um, it's just going to, you're going to watch that those millivolts go down slowly over the day. And that's the same thing that happens in the hydroponic system. So in general, what I'm finding right now with, um, you know, my current grow, I'm adding, it seems to be 15 milliliters every two days. I would say maybe, you know, it would be even better instead of watching it go from 500 down to 300 and lower, and giving that that space for contamination to potentially occur, it'd be better to just keep it over 400 and between 400 and 600 at all, all times. So I might see what happens if I just use 10 milliliters of my UC roots uh, daily, maybe that would be uh, the perfect amount to just keep it dialed in uh, and and you know, n not have it go below 400. So we'll see, and I can share that on future videos. So, uh, hypochlorous acid, UC Roots, this is a great product. We sell current culture on our website. Uh, I, I just really back this product. They're made by a, a, uh, a, a company that does hydroponics specifically. They got into deep water culture hydroponics recirculating, um, but it's the same thing as non-recirculating. It's all the same principle. It's just different configuration. And they made nutrient solutions specifically for that. So it's not like other nutrient companies that make nutrients for cocoa and for soil and uh, for hydro. These were made specifically for hydro, and that, that resonates with me. Um, you know, they, they realize, uh, how well it all has to be filtered and, um, you know, they're just a really high quality. So that's why we chose to sell this on our website and to provide it to our growers. Um, but also because they make UC roots. So I'm going to give you two options here. If you want to sanitize your nutrient solution, um, which, which I recommend, um, UC roots is amazing. You're going to be able to use. Uh, like I said, you're going to be able to dial in what you need with not without not a lot of um, thought, right? You're going to be able to do your 10 milliliters per day or 15 milliliters per every couple of days. You pull it, you you put it into your nutrient solution, and it's always going to do what it does. If you're looking for a cheaper solution, and there's going to be more variability here, um, you can buy something like this. Okay, this is. Uh, it's like a, it's a pull shock. Can you read that? Okay, ultra shock. Um, this is hypochlorite, uh, calcium hypochlorite. This is something that's used in industry. You know, uh, when people are dealing with huge hydroponic systems. Um, you know, that's who turned me on to this. Is a, a, a colleague. And same thing, right? There's, there's lots of ways to sanitize a solution. It could be, um, you know, it could, there's, uh, what is it? What am I thinking of? H2O2. Um, so, you know, high grade peroxide um, works well, hydrogen peroxide, but it dissipates really fast. It's really unstable versus hypochlorous acid, which is the UC roots, is, is much more stable. It lasts longer. Um, and it is preferred. Um, and this is very similar to hypochlorous acid uh, and how you would use this. So this comes in 70% strength. I've seen it in 80% strength. There's a couple variations. You want it to have uh, as little um, additives, nothing else in it. 
Um, and what I do is you, you can take a tablespoon of this, add it to water, and then you're gonna draw from this and pull this out, uh, you know, your 10 or 15 milliliters that you need and add it to your nutrient solution. But the thing is you're gonna have to figure that out for yourself and dial in uh, the strength of this nutrient solution. So you're gonna need an ORT meter if you're gonna go this route uh, versus, you know, the UC roots, you could probably skip an ORT meter and, um, you know, just go with that 10 to 15 mils per day or every, every second day. But uh, if that, if, 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 I hope that makes sense. Um, this is a, cause this is, this was cheap. This was like 10 bucks for a whole bag. And it, it, it one tablespoon mixes up enough to last for a very long time. So it's a great option for people um, if you wanna go that route. Um, but like I said, uh, another thing that I've noticed with this uh, is I feel like it affects your calcium um, levels. I don't know how to measure calcium, uh, but it is calcium hypochlorite with 70% available available chlorine content. Um, but that calcium, I found that I was actually, uh, my plants were experiencing a calcium, uh, what's the opposite of deficiency? Um, too much, it was too much, I could tell. You can see when your plants have too much of something um, and, and I didn't, couldn't quite figure it out initially. And then I realized that because I was using this, uh, I had to dial down my calcium magnesium supplement significantly uh, and then all of a sudden my plants were were happy so um, there's a little more to it to this it's not complicated but it it is uh, a great way to save uh, uh, some costs if you want to go that route so I hope all that makes sense if it doesn't hit me up in the comments send me a message um, but uh, yeah, uh, orb meter is a great one thing that you you can use with this as well. I find you know deep water culture. It's all about. I like it to just be simple, um, and and additives are great. So using UC roots, like I said, is an amazing way to just ensure there is no root rot. It just nothing can grow in there. Just like you don't get uh, algae and chunks of whatever coming out of your 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 tap, um, you know, we create that same sanitized environment uh, in our nutrient solution. And then also I like to use a product like Hygrozyme. I like to throw that in there as well. Um, you know, it just, it's enzymes that will consume any kind of uh, dead matter before they decide to start growing. Um, not that they really can. Maybe it's a bit redundant if we're using UC roots, but uh, I feel it's a great product and um, you know, you throw it in there every once in a while and it's going to uh, consume any kind of uh, root debris and turn it into a food source. Uh, and, you know, in the end, yeah, I, I'm, I'm growing uh, cantaloupe just because we're fighting uh, the, uh, we're fighting the algorithm, um, but, you know, I, I really love growing medical plants and they're easier and better to grow than stuff like this. They just really thrive. They love deep water culture, um, but it's all the same principles. And I find, you know, something that has such a valuable harvest like medical plants, you know, with all hydroponics of indoor growing, you get out what you put in. So if you put in your money into you know, being able to dial in your environment, growing just environmental control. If you put your money into an ORP meter and you, you know, you buy high quality nutrients and you buy a couple extra additives, um, you know, and then you have a sick harvest, um, you know, in my experience, it all pays for itself really fast when you can be pulling off, uh, you know, ounces of high quality, um, uh, flower uh, so you get out what you put in so if you have the means to to put more in I recommend it and you know uh, I think you're gonna be happy with your results so have a good day peace we'll see you guys in a couple days